What's up, everyone? Today I'm back and I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite butterflies. Although I keep, I keep calling every species my favorite species in every video, that's because every species is my favorite species. Anyway, what we're currently looking at is the dark blue pansy, scientific name Eunonia unona. And this is a butterfly found in tropical uh, Africa. Oh, no. A very common species found across Sub-Saharan Africa, Southern Arabia and in Madagascar. This beautiful bu butterfly has um, bright blue patches on its forewings, at least in the case of the males. The females are a little bit more boringly colored and brown. That's because the males use these iridescent blue patches to communicate to the females. And females are attracted to this blue iridescence. This butterfly is called the dark blue pansy because the male of this species has dark blue scales on his forewing, as you can see clearly in this video. Now what's interesting is the female doesn't even have this. Um, she just has brown hindwings. However, I don't have a female, so in this video I can only show you a male. Uh, the purpose of these um, dark blue patches is first and foremost to attract females. They are attracted to the shiny blue iridescence of the male's uh, scales and this enables them to find a partner and by angling their wings and holding them open they can uh, make a shiny blue light signal that uh, every partner in the area can pick up it's almost like you know communicating using a mirror over large distances um, second of all these iridescent blue patches may somehow resemble eye spots and scare off some types of predators as well. It is somewhat a polyphagous species, but all their host plants are in the family of uh, Acanthaceae, including the genera Astisacea, Barleria, Hypostis, Justicia, Paulo Wilhelminia, Brillantiaceae, and Ruelia. Now that sounds like a whole bunch of scientific names, and uh, in fact it is. But uh, I don't have the common names of these plants available. Send me a private message or join our Discord server if you have any questions about scientific names. And I'll send you a message with these names written out. Anyway, Eunonia unona is an awesome species that's easy to breed in captivity. It's often seen in butterfly greenhouses and, and in zoos where the pupa are imported. In Africa, some people farm these butterflies and sell their pupa to Europe which gives these people a form of sustenance and income um, that relies on the environment. So it's a really a win-win situation in my opinion. It's sad that this butterfly is extremely common and found in many habitats, including rainforests, but also grasslands, even parks and city gardens and savannas. So clearly this is one of the more generalist survivors when it comes to butterflies in uh, Africa belongs to the Nymphalidae family, the um, brush-footed butterflies. So, um, usually I don't uh, show that many butterflies on my YouTube channel, but recently, uh, you know, I got a small job offer with them. So I had a lot of pupa to hatch and had a lot of butterflies to show you. I'm working on some very big video projects that you will enjoy. But it will take me a long time to finish them, so meanwhile, please enjoy these short informative videos showing you just the appearance of these beautiful butterflies. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again when I upload another video.